Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at DC's House of Mystery number 203. Cool cover, RH, Russ Heath, I believe. Um, pretty cool woman turning into a hawk, killing some guy. Gotta love that. And this is a big 52 page anthology for only 25 cents. I mean, what a deal, huh? So check this out. Open it up. Front page. First page spread. Wrightson. I mean, you can't go wrong. Look at that. Nice shot of Kane telling some stories in front of some young children who are easily influenced. Um, I wonder if that word box was in the original art and if this goes higher. I don't know. But Great Demon, a gargoyle. Nice image of Kane sitting there with his legs up. Like, this is a classic Wrightson pose. So this is 1972. This came out. Um, love these ads. Rumblers. Three-wheeled rumblers. I think I might have had those. <clears throat> um, so first story. The Thousand Eyes of Death. Editor Joe Lambo, Bob Kniger, and Ernie... Chua, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I should probably know that. But, uh, definitely <clears throat> nice story here of a cowboy, Native American Indian. Not quite exactly sure. Story here. I haven't read the whole thing, but, you know, nice illustrations by Ernie. Again, this DC style in the 70s was, uh, you know, it was very clean. <laughs> we love these ads, Captain Aurora. Um, very cool. There's an interesting pose with like some duotone in there. Um, some of these panels, you know, look a little rushed. But who knows? These guys weren't getting paid that much back then. But, um, interesting splash panel, kind of, you know. And here you have the image from the cover. Girl turning into a hawk, attacking this guy. Again, this stuff looks really, you know, very simple, rushed, but still cool and reminiscent of... DC horror at the time. This guy gets carried away by these hawks and then dropped to his death. Nice. <clears throat> oh, classic um, Sergio Aragones one pager. I used to love these in these old House of Mysteries. I mean, this is where he really got to do his thing. But Sergio is great. Uh, second story. The Golden Doom. Doesn't look like there's any signature or art signature on here. I don't know. Uh, some other people that know DC artists would probably know this guy. I'm not sure who it is. I don't recognize the style. Um, sometimes the ads are more interesting than the art. No, just kidding. This is called Monsters, X-Ray Specs, Secret Book. You know, but still, cool, you know, you're kind of building up this six panel Tales from the Crypt type thing. Nice look at Dread. Here we have another third story, Almost Human. John Albano and art by Jack Jack Sparling. Yeah, Jack did a lot of stuff for DC back then. <clears throat> Definitely cool. Kane shot. Introducing the story. You know, really cool. I guess they got some mutant here in the closet. <laughs> Look at this.
<clears throat> definitely some cool panels of some creepy mutations locked away. You know, this guy had some really cool, like you could tell this this kind of this kind of posing. You could see that this guy knows how to draw, but a simple style kind of reminds me of Joe Kubert in a way. But you know the posing here. Look at the expression. Just really cool stuff. Simple. You know, there's not much line work there. Another one page Sergio Aragones. Three little gags. <laughs> Love the abstract art. Ah, oh, cool. Tower of Prey, last story. Nestor Redondo art. He's another guy, I believe, was Filipino. But, um, very cool. Another great artist. Did a lot of DC stuff. Did the Swamp Thing, I think, after Bernie Wrightson. But look at that. Look at the teeth. Great. Nice darks, cool shadows. You know, obviously looking at reference here, but um, great kind of New York City building, construction site. Look at that. Very cool pose there. <clears throat> Wondering if that was a swipe <clears throat> or uh, took some reference photos, but it looks like it, there's a reference there for something. Great double page spread, like nice shadows here. Great dynamic panel, tacking them, bird. <laughs> it feels like it's like the bird issue, but this is a really cool pose. Nice wide high angle shot you can learn a lot from these old DC comics if you get the right artist look at that nice end shot bird it's dead this is great look at everybody laughing look at this one smiling but uh yeah really cool to look at this stuff again Sergio Aragones letters page and then you've got the classic DC ads. Dig these. And there you have it. DC's House of Mystery 203 from 1972.